What I do is I hang bells all along the bottom of the tree. So if the cats start messing with it, it starts ringing like that. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Today is day six of the reverse advent calendar for cats. And this is the compartment we are filling today. And this is what we are filling it with. The cats wanted to share another one of their favorite foods. This is the Trader Joe's Turkey and Giblets Dinner. These are 5.5 ounce cans. And they fit perfectly in this compartment. So that is what we are putting in our reverse advent calendar today. And this is what it looks like so far. Six of the compartments have been filled with cat supplies that we'll be donating to a local shelter. Today for breakfast, the cats are having a can of fishy food. I like to feed them some kind of canned fish once a week or so. And they're having the wholehearted cat food from Petco. And they're having the tuna, tuna in a can. They love this food. I did not even have to put one crunchy on it to get them to eat it. Especially Boo. Boo's usually the one I have to bribe with crunchies. And in the past, I've been splitting up one can among four cats. Like one 5.5 ounce can among the four cats. So what I'm doing today is I did two cans. So each cat would get half of a can before they were getting about a fourth of a can. I want to see how they do on half of a can. If it's too much food for them, they obviously can leave some on their plate. Then I could give it to Hydrox outside. I have not fed him yet. He'll be getting the same thing today. So Splash finished his food and then he just ran upstairs. One thing I do have to do is pick up the plate from whoever doesn't finish their food because I'm afraid Boo will. And if Boo goes and eats all of his food and then finishes Splash's food and finishes Simba's food, um, it's not going to be good. I don't want him to vomit. But it looks like Boo's just about done. Oh, looks like he's just about done. Okay, here's what's going on. This is Splash's leftovers. This is Stella's leftovers, and this is Simba's leftovers, and Simba was eating this, but something happened and spooked all of the cats, and they went running upstairs. I think it's because the garbage trucks are rolling by and picking up garbage, and uh, yeah, so they all ran upstairs. So it looks like they pretty much left about half their food, uh, if you look at the food. So that indicates to me that one can split four ways is definitely enough, except for Boo. Boo does like more food. Boo finished everything on his plate. It's about 9.15 a.m. right now, and Hydrox is sitting on his welcome mat. He usually does this when he wants food. So I just gave him a plate of tuna. All the tuna the inside cats did not eat. I just gave it to him, and there it is. It is 8.50 p.m. right now. I just got home about 15 minutes ago. And I'm about to feed the cats. I didn't realize it was this late. They're having a can of... The cats are having a can of Whole Paws shredded chicken and gravy. What you doing, Simba? They're moving around a lot. They're really hungry. When I got home, Boo was like a maniac running around the house. Alright, Boo, you ready to eat dinner? Come on. The cats are diving into their food, except for Splash. It is 9.48 p.m. right now. I've been chatting on the live stream and I just looked over and look, look, Stella's sleeping in the camper. She's hanging out in the camper. This is the first time I've seen a cat hanging out in the camper. Like I've seen Splash go in and come out and I've seen him like scratch the bottom, but I haven't seen anyone hanging out in it, just like hanging out like this. Stella loves her camper. 
Today is day six of the advent calendar for cats and we did not do day five yet because day five was a very busy day. So the cats are gonna have day five and day six and these are kind of hard to open. Oh, here's day five. Day five is fish shaped treats. And let's see what's in day six. Day six is circle shaped treats. So I am going to get the treats out of the other advent calendar. And then what I will be doing with both of these is breaking them into smaller pieces and feeding these to the cats along with a few crunchies. The cats are eating their treats along with some crunchies. And they're splashing. Look what the cats did, this is so funny. They ate all of the crunchies and then they left these advent treats. Like how is that possible that they know exactly what to leave? And this is Boo's plate. Simba ate all of his, Splash ate all of his, and this plate is Stella's. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept on the chair all night and the chair has the crinkly blanket on it. Good morning, Simba. Simba likes to sleep in this round bed, although I did wake up in the middle of the night and he was sleeping on the bed, but right now he's in this round bed looking out the window. Good morning, Stella. Stella's watching a bird. A bird's pecking at some kind of food on the patio. Let me tell you what's going on with Stella. So for the past two nights, I've woken up in the middle of the night, maybe around 4 o'clock in the morning, because Stella has been making noise while she's sleeping. So I have been having like crazy, vivid, realistic dreams the past two nights. And I don't know if Stella is having the same thing, because like I'll wake up and I'll hear her like murmuring and making noise. And then she wakes herself up and then I hear her like lip smacking, like, like she has a dry mouth. So two nights ago, when I heard that, I got the water bowl that's kept in the room and I put it on the top of the tower where she was sitting and she drank some water and then I thought she was done so I put the water bowl back in the floor but she ended up jumping down and drinking more water. Last night she made the same lip smacking noise so I put the water bowl up where she was on top of the tower but she didn't want any water. So uh, that's what's going on with Stella recently. I have to remember to put plenty of water in their food. Um, I have not been putting as much water in recently as I have in the past. Today is day seven for the reverse advent calendar. And we are filling this compartment. And we are filling it with two cans of the wholehearted tuna recipe cat food. The cats enjoy this cat food and they would like to share it. It's 12.32 p.m. Boo's laying in the sun. He's been sleeping in this cat tower. How you doing, Boo? I just walked into my room and I found this. Look at this. Splash and Stella are all cuddled up together. And here's Simba. Simba's sleeping. And there's Splash and Stella. Now Simba's stretching. They're sleeping with their arms around each other.
Here's Hijox. He is laying in the apartment underneath the house. And he's getting some sun, which is good. It's good for him to get some sun. And this is what I did this morning. Look at Hydrox's house. It's all decorated for Christmas. I'll give you a little tour. So Hydrox has his own little Christmas tree. I got this at Joann's. It was 70% off originally, 19.99, whatever 70% off is. I don't know, maybe like $4. And then all of the little Christmas decorations on it, I had, um, I found them in a box when I was taking out uh, decorations to uh, decorate my inside Christmas tree. And they're the perfect size for this tree and they are shatterproof. So that is good. This tree is an artificial tree and it did come with the little pine cones on it. So I really like how it looks. It's kind of rustic, which I like for Hydrox's shelter. Then we have this shiny poinsettia and these shiny gold flowers. I got these at a local dollar store. They're a dollar each. And we have these little candy canes. I think it was like a pack of six at the Dollar Tree. And then we have this wooden gnome. I've had this for several years now. It's been decorating my front yard, but I put it here because I thought it would go nicely near Hydrox's shelter. Look at this little wreath. I got this wreath at Joann's also. It was also 70% off. I think this was like, uh, $8.99 or $14.99 and then it was 70% off so I literally only paid like two or three dollars for it and then I found these little decorations also they were put away with some Christmas decorations and they're the perfect size for this little wreath it looks so cute thank you to Eva Lash for sending the Joann's gift card I just put it to good use then we have this red bow that's from the Dollar Tree and then we have all of this lighted garland um, it's Christmas lights but it's also like a green garland I got this at Big Lots. It was originally $10 and then I got it for like $7.50. It was 25% off. Uh, so I thought that was pretty good. And then here we have Hank the Gnome. I don't know how he got the name Hank, but it's kind of stuck. And we have another poinsettia and glitter flowers and some more candy canes. And then we have this gingerbread boy, which I've also had for several years. He usually decorates the front yard, but I thought he would look good near Hydrox's house. And we have a vintage blow mold Santa Claus. I got this at a thrift shop several years ago. Probably only spent like five or seven dollars on it. I love these vintage blow mold so whenever I see them I pick them up because if you try to buy a new one there are a lot more money and then there's a few candy canes hanging in the tree and this is Hydrox's welcome friends welcome Matt this is from the Christmas tree shop and look at the cat in the camper it looks just like Hydrox and now his house looks a lot like this little scene here he has a wreath on his house he has Christmas lights he has a little tree and now all of his friends can come visit I think everything looks really cute. My only concern is that maybe all these decorations will scare Hydrox away from his house. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens today. I'm going to go inside, download some Christmas music, restart the live stream, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. It is 4.12 p.m. and I have been kind of picking the last of the leftover Thanksgiving turkey off of the bones. Basically, I just had some legs and wings left and boo has been begging me for turkey so as i've been doing it i've been kind of giving him pieces so this is going to be his dinner right here just gave him a whole bunch of the thanksgiving turkey and he loves it none of the other cats care for it uh, i'm going to put some outside for hydrox and ditto it's about 4 30 p.m and i'm here with ditto come here ditto eat some food here's the fork he doesn't want to go near the fork and there's a whole bunch of dry food in the feeder. Ditto is purring and rolling around, and he just completely rubbed himself up against the legs of this table. He's still purring. You gonna eat, Ditto? Ditto, you want some food to eat? Come here. Come here, Ditto, don't be afraid of me. Now there is food on that red plate over there. I just put some food in this bowl for Hydrox. And there's Hydrox. Hydrox, you want some on the spoon? 
Want some on the fork? You want some? Okay. So Simba wants to talk to Hydrox. It's about 4.49 p.m. right now. And uh, the timer with Hydrox's Christmas lights just came on. And um, I want to see what it looks like in reality versus through the security camera. Okay, Simba? This is a more accurate representation of what the light up Santa looks like. Although everything's quite dark here. And if I open up the exposure, so this is a more accurate representation of what the rest of the house looks like right now, but the Santa's all blown out for some reason. Today is day eight of the reverse advent calendar, and we are filling compartment number eight. We are filling compartment number eight with the wholehearted chicken recipe cat food. The cat's Enjoyed this cat food also. It is 3.24 p.m. right now, and Hydrox has been doing a live stream all day today from his Christmas cat house. And I just went outside to adjust it, and he's been meowing for food, so I just gave him a whole can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets with a bunch of water mixed in, so hopefully he'll eat that. And here's Boo. Whenever Boo hears a can being opened, he has to come and see what it is. And here are the three other cats. They're all laying on the bed. Three cats in a row. I was wondering where they were. How you doing, Stella? It's been a nice, relaxing day. I've been writing out Christmas cards. I still have a lot to mail out. Worked on a video. Gonna work on some more videos, but I want to go outside and do some decorations on the main house and not just the cat house. The weather is supposed to be pretty bad the next few days, so figured I'd do that. It's 5:49 p.m. right now, and I gave Stella a piece of chicken neck, so she's been nibbling on that. And Boo has a piece of chicken neck also. He started eating his first. Like when I gave it to him, he started right away. Of course, they both pulled it off the plate. I put it on a plate for them, and they pull it off. It is 7.37 p.m., and I've been doing all of my Christmas decorating today. And I just remembered that I forgot to swap out the cat's rugs. So it's this rug here, and it's Stella's rug downstairs. And this is a new one. Every time I put a new rug out, Stella... Stella loves new rugs. Um, this is another rug from the Christmas tree shop. And it says peace on it. And it has some red cardinals. And some poinsettias. And some holly berries. And I thought the cats would like it. And that's what it looks like. It has like a lot of nature on it. And it also has some kind of neutral colors that go with this landing area. So I usually try to get a rug that's kind of neutral in this area. This has neutral colors and a little pop of red and green. And there's Stella on her favorite Christmas rug from last year. This is Stella's truck rug. There's a white pickup truck on it with Christmas trees. Stella, would you like to get up so we could see your rug? You want to get up and show us your rug? Yeah, come on, show us the rug. Get up so we can see the rug, Stella. No, you like it? You don't want anyone to see it? Can we see the rug, Stella? Stella, I know you're very happy that I just put your rug out. It's her favorite rug. She loves trucks. And there we have it. There's Stella's truck rug. Stella also loves scratching on that scratching pole. I think she likes scratching on it more than any of the other cats. Okay, Stella, you could go back on your rug. Good girl. Good girl, Stella, you're so smart. Yeah, I know, you're so smart. You could get an Academy Award, okay? Yeah, if they had Academy Award for cats, you would get Best Actress. Stella, you are the Best Actress. Best Actress Cat, right? Yes, Queen Stella, leading lady. 
The Christmas tree also got decorated today. And there's Splash checking it out. What I do is I hang bells all along the bottom of the tree. So if the cats start messing with it, it starts ringing. Like that. I like cat fit, but I cannot eat. Yeah. It is 8.31 p.m. right now, and Stella has been sitting on the couch with me as I edited a video. Right now, it is rendering, and um, we can be uploading it soon. Uh, but right now, she's laying on some packing material that's on the floor, and uh, she's just hanging out. I don't think I've really filmed much or anything today, so thought I would just film a little update. Here's Splash. Splash is looking for some crunchies or a snack. Simba is laying on the bed. And here's Boo. Boo is on top of the cat tower. He was taking a nap there. He just jumped down. Boo thinks it's time for crunchies. The cats are about three days behind on their advent calendars. I just realized we never did uh, the 7th or the 8th, and today is the 9th. So we are going to open up three doors on each of these calendars. In the door for the 7th, they got two round treats. In the door for the 8th, they got three star-shaped treats. And in today's door, the 9th, they got three fish-shaped treats. Simba's laying here, he's waiting for his treats. He just heard Stella move. Stella coming out, here comes Stella. She knows when I'm opening the treats. Today is day nine of the reverse advent calendar and we are filling compartment number nine. We are filling it with two more cans of wholehearted cat food. This is the salmon and tuna recipe. And this is what the reverse advent calendar looks like after nine days have been filled in. It's 9.30 p.m. and here's Splash. He's on top of the cat tower looking out the window. And here's Boo. Boo's on one of the swivel chairs. Boo loves these chairs. Lately, all he wants to do is either sleep in this chair or the other chair. There's two of these chairs. Right now, they both have cat blankets on them. You gonna sleep here, Boo? You gonna sleep here tonight, Boo? Maybe he thinks they're like a, a big cat bed. They're almost like a larger version of the round cat pet. Boo, you're so soft. You are so soft. Your fur is so soft, Boo. Boo, you're a sweet boy. Boo is such a sweet boy. He's sweet like candy. Right, Boo? I'm still waiting for the video to process it uploaded, but then it has to go through YouTube's processing system. And then once it's processed, then I can uh, publish it and make it go live. But I have to wait. Sometimes I have to wait like an hour. Okay, boo. Okay, boo. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.